Oh, hi there my good friends of YouTube. Well today I've got this x-ray transformer just here which is the one in the oil this one here this is 75 kV and these are two uh, ferrite cores um, the ones from the video where the um, parcel force had um, smashed one of them and broke it into three pieces which is this, this one just this one down here you can see there's a bit of a chip there where it was broken across there and broken across there and I super glued it together and I'm just trying it now this one had a smaller piece which is inside a piece that I've broken off and these have when they've been put together is um, they are actually they have got an air gap the ferrites have just to bring up that uh, that output so I'm going to be running this off the the variac not off the IGBT today it's going through from the variac and going into that ZVS driver and then through these caps through that ferrite just there to give me I could connect it straight from that to the um, to the transformer but I'm going through this ferrite ring here onto t just the you know the single output and then going into the primary side of the ferrites and then the secondary the high voltage side is going to be arcing out just here onto those two pins just there so <clears throat> I'll show you this working guys next time I'll be, I, should, I, should, I am going to give it a go on the IGBT and see how we get on with that see what output that will be giving us but today I'm just trying it because I've just put it together and I want to see what the output's like so let's see if it uh, when I turn it up if it will jump out that gap there of about three and a half inches oh yeah and that's just at 30 volts as you can see nice bit of an output I do like the bluish um, arcs though I do like the blue arcs that's a very hot arc with it being a, a yellowy white that's the hot, uh, the hot a white arc is the hottest like the flame which is the white flame is the hottest and the blue arc is a, isn't as hot as a, a white flame this uh, as a white arc I'm getting mixed up here so let me start again if it's white and it's a flame or an arc it's very hot it's a lot hotter than a blue flame or a blue arc there you go <laughs> uh, the primary windings on there is four either side and a center tap but I'm actually connected to the center tap, so really, in theory, should I say, we've only got four windings around that ferrite. The more windings will give you a thicker, whiter arc. <clears throat> Let's uh, turn it up a little bit. That's 40 volts. That's quite a nice arc just there. I believe it'll be pulling more than 10 amps easily. I would say that's probably pulling about 12 amps. A good four inches there, gap. Running quite smoothly. No bubbles coming through. That was on a vacuum, that was, for bloody decades, I tell you. I left it, let, that was on a vacuum constantly in this. Let me just turn this off quickly. I don't like to turn me back when things are running. It was let, this was actually on a vacuum, and it's been left on a vacuum for about. Try to think how long it's been on a vacuum for. A good three months. Because what I did, I took all the air out of this, and then put sticky tape over the the valve, which would draw the the air back into the into the box. But that one's um, not going to trans. That's not a working unit. That's just um, a vacuum chamber for my coils. I've got three more in there. I've got two 75 kVs, and I've got one of those. So there's another one there. Look. That's 49 kV. So I've got the 49 kV one, and there's another one inside of there, and I've got two more of those. Is it three more? I've got of those could be three, no it's three more sorry so in all in all I've got four of those transformers and two of the 49's and I've got another 49 in this which is 
a working unit that transformer there that's all ready to go that is when you put any voltage into there and the federal connector <clears throat> if none of you who are watching have not seen that one before I'm sure people who have been subscribed to me for many for a year or so would uh, would know the transformers that I do have so we try this one again see if it will jump that gap at 4 inches I'm sure it will do I'm on the floor here for like a bloody snail roaming around right here we go oh actually jump through there I do believe you see these bloody springs are crap so this is normally all in oil you see so I think we'll have to put that in a little bit more what I need to do is put some separation in between there to stop that from arcing out in itself push it into the oil the last thing we want is this arcing out The actual springer looking wire isn't actually the, the connection. The connection is actually a little piece of wire going all the way through the middle. It's only trouble with oil. It gets bloody everywhere. But I don't mind it because I love the smell of it. Let's try that a little bit again, shall we? See, the trouble is now that's got a mark on the wire. It'll want to go to that every time. About a three inch gap. <clears throat> I want to basically at one point I want to be able to uh, put it up to 40 volts. I want to have like um, I want to like set this all up and have it as like um, a thing that's going to be, be able to be used all the time because I would like at some point to build a little Tesla coil and have it running off that. Or it could actually do a pretty good Jacob's Ladder. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, what I've been doing. And was it? And wasn't it complete horse shit? That bloody parcel force, smashing my bloody parcel open. Bastards. I've glued the other two. I should have said the other one, that was broken. So I've got uh, three of these of the same size. So this is the one that was broken. You can see the chip in it just there. I just a bit of super glue and as good as new. I'm just glad that that, uh, that ferrite, the two U ferrites are, uh, are working all right. Good little test, up to 40 volts. Try it on that bugger now. I had a comment on uh, what, from one of you guys um, saying, "Am I still going to be doing the line outside?" Of course I am. I'm waiting for the perfect time to do it, guys. You see, because I've got to get that outside and put that underneath the wire and then have a little wire just connecting off that or a rod going straight to the wire above any leave it probably a, a foot or two so I, go, so I hardly get any losses from it and then it'll go straight from that down the wire so don't worry guys I've not forgotten about that I'm not gonna let you down from there I will be doing it soon so <clears throat> I should say thanks for watching the video Hope it's a little bit entertaining for you. Take care of yourself guys and we'll now see you again.